Welcome to Viking Basketball with Coach Barrett Peary as the Vikings take on Southern Utah twice this week, Thursday night and Saturday afternoon. And, uh, Coach, as we look at these two games, they're big ones because Portland State goes into this week with a chance to finish as high as fourth and as low as eighth in the Big Sky Conference standings. Right now you sit in sixth place, so there's a lot to play for for Big Sky tournament positioning. And, of course, Southern Utah, uh, they've had a great year. They still have a shot at the Big Sky regular season title, so it ought to be uh, quite a battle between these two teams. Yeah, I think so, and I think that we both have some momentum and, and are excited to play each other. But, yeah, give them a lot of credit. They've had a great year and uh, have really had a, has a, had a team come together and be on the same page. They have some very good returners that's made it, you know, probably a little bit smoother for Coach Simon. But give them a, give them a lot of credit. they got a lot going on as far as positivity, as far as winning games and things like that. And they've done a great job at the defensive end. They've rebounded the ball very well. And then, you know, like you said, this is a big weekend. We can be fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. You never know. There's a bunch of scenarios on the table. The one thing you and I both know is that we got to just take care of us. That's right. And the Vikings uh, taking care of business last Saturday at Northern Colorado, getting the win on the road, bouncing back from another close loss, a tough loss Thursday night, an emotional loss, I'm sure. We weren't there, you were, but it's always tough when you lose one at the end. But your team, again, showing great resiliency, coming back Saturday uh, to beat the same team on the road. Yeah, you know, we've had two of those now, Montana at the buzzer and then those guys at the buzzer. This one didn't feel um, quite like the Montana one because I didn't think we played that well. I don't think the guys thought we played that well. We, we made mistakes that we were disappointed in. It never really felt like we got going the way we should. And so we, we got beat in that game, and we were a little edgy, but a different kind of edgy, like, you know, that wasn't us, that wasn't who, who we should be. On Friday in the film, the guys saw it, the coaches saw it, and we were able to clean up some things and do a much better job on Saturday. Well, the Viking team has been all about adjustments this year, uh, bouncing back from some Thursday losses to go 5-1 and one on Saturdays against the same opponent. I'm a great weekend coach. You're a great weekend <laughs> coach. It's the Tuesday-Wednesday coach we've got to work that on. That weekday huh? stuff, yeah, I don't know about that, but I'm a great weekend coach. Now we, Yeah, it, it's funny. We've, we've been average on Thursdays and been special on Saturdays, so and we, we got to put the two together this week for sure to protect ourselves in the standings and, and keep momentum going into Boise. Uh, too much preparation is maybe a bad thing, Coach. Uh, you wouldn't get any coach to agree with that. But uh, i got to tell you, though, Jason and I were just having that conversation all morning, like, okay, how do we not screw the guys up for Thursday? You know, maybe we are over-preparing. Maybe we have too much time. So believe me, what you just said is actually a sincere conversation in our staff meetings right now. We're only on Monday right now preparing for a Thursday game, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a minute about Southern Utah. This team is 17-3, and three, and that's not a record you often see in the Big Sky Conference. It's been an unusual year. They're 10-2 and two in conference play, still a chance to win the Big Sky title. They are uh, a game behind Eastern Washington going into this weekend's games. And I know you might have a little bit of a soft spot for Southern Utah. I think uh, you spent a little time there back in the day. I played there, I coached there, I spent seven years of my life there. So yeah, I have a lot of good connections and great memories with Southern Utah. Um, but you know, I also know- Not, also not know, this week. I also know where I coach right now. You know, it's like I tease the guys all the time. I say, hey, if my wife's on the other team, I'm gonna try to kick her butt. So I mean, hey, that's the way it goes. But no, those guys have done a great job. And, and a lot of guys down there are still really good friends and this staff does a good job. So much respect to them and what they've done. And the Thunderbirds lead the Big Sky in scoring 85 points a game and rebounding. And, boy, that's a tough combination to go up against a team that really can score the ball and a team that out-rebounds its opponents by almost 10 per game. So the Vikings really have their work cut out for them. Yeah, we, we got to be really good on the glass. And we take pride on the glass, as you know. We've been good. But these guys have been really, really good. And then, you know, we got to do a good job. You know, there's a lot of good statistics about where we're at as far as defending and keeping scores down and things like that. So maybe the opposite of what I've sold to you a lot of times over the years as far as a battle of wills and this and that, we got to keep the score down. They're going to try to have the score high. We got to keep the score down. We got to have good possessions and make sure we don't give them any good, you know, turnovers for touchdown opportunities to go lay the ball in and get that momentum going and the score high. And uh, Southern Utah brings a lot to the table, but so do the Vikings. Portland State winners five of six and seven of their last nine. I know, Coach, 
Uh, you've kind of made that a trademark, having really strong finishes to the regular season since you've been here at Portland State. Uh, but it all comes down to next week, which is the Big Sky Tournament. Yeah. So uh, win, lose, or draw this week, and I don't think draws in the equation, but uh, win or lose this week, you're playing basketball next week in the tournament. What do you need to see from your team as you move into that uh, scenario? You know, just keep growing, keep getting better. Um, you know, even you know, Jason and I and the staff, we were laughing today because it's March 1st, it's early March now, and it doesn't feel like that for us. I know even in great seasons that, that I've been a part of over the years, you get to March no matter what, you're kind of like, oof, it's been long, but it's going good, but it's been long. You know, this year, it hasn't been long, and it ha we're, we're not overdone yet, we're not, we're not worn out with each other yet, and, and so we, we got to just keep growing and keep getting better, and I think we have a group of guys that still is really enjoying playing and being in the gym, and you know, it's showing, they're playing good basketball, you know, like I said, in these last nine games, we've won seven, and the two we lost were buzzer beaters. So we've been right there. And uh, the season uh, circumstances beyond your control, about two months shorter uh, than it would normally be to this point, and about 10 games less. So it all kind of uh, equals out. Uh, maybe the Vikings still fresh, but everybody's in that same spot, and everybody's looking for the same prize, a Big Sky Championship and a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, yeah. and. You know, you talk about next week and, and this week, and I think everybody will kind of have the same same uh, speech is that, you know, we got to keep our momentum, we got to play well, we got to carry momentum into Boise. So I think that's what we're all looking for. All right, the Vikings wanting to keep that momentum going as they're ready to take on Southern Utah. Viking basketball is coming up. <laughs> 